Ho ena mana, ena reo, ena iwi i te motu, tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto katoa. As Ros says, I'm the Chief Executive of the Health Quality and Safety Commission, and it's my pleasure to uh, be here with you at least this morning um, uh, today. And I am so impressed with uh, the number of people that are here for this very first uh, uh, learning set on this collaborative and this very important topic. And I know that you've all been uh, working um, very hard on this for some time, for some years, in fact, many of you. Um, and with this re-energised focus, we're all uh, aiming for zero within the next uh, 18 months, really. Not long to go. Um, I'm feeling a bit kind of uh, jet-lagged, I have to say. I just arrived in at 1am from Melbourne, having been at the uh, Quality Forum on... Uh, quality and Safety in Healthcare, that's uh, an Asia-Pacific forum that's run by uh, the BMJ, uh, the British Medical Journal, and IHI, the Institute of Health Improvement from Boston, and they run these forums uh, around the world. There's a big one that's in Europe that's been running for many years. They've started one in South America. They've had one in their own country in the USA for a long time, for more than 10 plus years. And I think it's the last three years they've been running them in the Asia-Pacific region, first time in Australia. But I mention that because I, on the Monday I did a site visit to the Royal Children's Hospital, which of those of you who have been visiting Melbourne will know is our, the new hospital's only about five or six years old, and it's an amazingly architecturally designed, in, incredibly beautiful hospital, state-of-the-art and totally digital. So if you want to see a totally digital, paperless hospital, it's uh, the place to, to go and visit. But I mention it because in this hospital, as in, I discovered in some of the other hospitals in Melbourne, they have um, a, a, a kind of a tele, a internet sort of system, what's it called? It's a loudspeaker system that goes through the whole hospital whenever there's a code where they need assistance. So code red is where, of course, they have some um, a very serious event happening, which maybe they call it a serious harm event, actually, and they need some assistance to deal with it. While we were sitting in the seminar room hearing about the hospital, there was a, a, a call for a code grey, code grey. We all kind of looked a bit surprised, a cold gray, code grey. And the chief executive um, uh, said, that is when we need assistance for de-escalating a serious aggressive event. So that will either be in our mental health um, area, children and young people mental health area, or it'll be in our um, accident and emergency, our emergency um, department. Uh, so I thought that was very interesting that they call on the whole hospital when they, when they have that kind of event happening. Um, in the education centre where we were, they have their simulation suite. So like all hospitals, simulation suite. So they have the mannequin and you know all the other kind of things for simulating. They, you know, the Royal Children's Hospital is one of the best in the world. They do, you know, transplants and a lot of a lot of um, very complex, uh, see complex and rare disorders and so on. So they have quite a lot of simulation for all kinds of things. But they have a room that's for simulation or training in de-escalating um, in dealing with aggressive and violent uh, behaviour. Uh, and all of the staff in the hospital get trained in the simulation room. So I thought it was a really interesting kind of way of seeing this kind of work as normal and part of the whole of health and the whole of medicine. So I thought I would share that with you as you think about your work today and in this very important uh, task in how we can um, de-escalate aggression, uh, but with the aim of reducing a seclusion and other restrictive practices. So all the best.